Hello, hello, and welcome back everybody to another episode of Minecraft. <clears throat> I'm just coming back from uh, lighting up the place a little bit. And uh, let's go back. Not much has changed on the outside, above the surface. But down below I have been mining like a boss. I've been going at it and I have found me my little toys. Oh. I think I just heard an archer shoot at me. There, hey, there's the arrow. There he is. That bastard. Okay, let me take care of this guy first before we continue. Don't want him shooting us the whole damn... Whoa! Huh? Where the hell? Hey! Whoa! Hey, come on, dude! Play fair, play fair. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, oh, I ran out of torches. So, yes! I have been busy down below and I have got or found myself my diamonds. Hell yeah. So I've already repaired my pickaxe. It was near death at the end of my strip mining extravaganza. And uh, so repaired that bad boy. Took me two diamonds and I think 70 levels. And I was also spending a lot of time at the Enderman farm so that I could get my new sword and my new axe and my new diamond shovel enchanted and I didn't have enough time to spend enchanting tons of books so uh, I just took level 30 and took one with each and uh, check out what I got with my axe unbreaking 3 efficiency 4 love it but fortune 3 on an axe I could be mistaken I mean tell me if I'm wrong but I don't think there's anything that you chop down with an axe that is affected by fortune I mean, you don't chop down a tree and get more wood from it. But, that's me. I mean, let's check it out. Look look at it. Dead. Actually, I get no... There we go. <laughs> See, you get one wood from it. So, uh, that fortune is kind of wasted, but, uh, oh well. I got my sword with knockback 2, fire aspect 2, and sharpness 3. Love it. And my old trusty diamond pickaxe. But... Let me show you what I got with my fortune... No, not fortune, what I'm saying. With my level 30 shovel. Um, where did I put my diamond shovel? Is it in here? Nope, it's not there. Is it in here? No. Uh-oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I've misplaced my shovel. I don't know where I left it. Um, doesn't matter. It's probably down there. I hope it's down there. We'll check it out later. But uh, I had a level 30 enchantment put on my shovel. And all I got out of that bad boy was fortune 1 on a shovel. That's right. <laughs> I, as you can imagine, was not too happy about that. But uh, let's get going with our thing. First thing I want to show about the cool new snapshot. Well, it's not that new. But what I love about this snapshot is the new... Um, hey, come on. There we go. Uh, the snow slabs. Cold snow. It's brilliant. But what is awesome about it for my little town area here is uh, these gravel walkways. You cannot get gravel half slabs or gravel stairs. So when you come up or to something like this, you're going to have to jump your way up. There's no other way around it. But that's where these snow layers come in. Because you place them one, two, three, and four. And looky, looky. Ah. Eh? Demonstration filled. Five? Yeah, five is the magic number. <laughs> so it's five. I thought it was four. Because eight is a top one, right? One, two, three. Oh, what's happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight's a full one. So why... I thought halfway up would be a half slab. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four doesn't work. Five does. Ha! Huh. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, that's just my point. You can half slab or quarter slab or eighth slab these snow and then create yourself some little stairs. And then later when the snow actually falls, it'll look pretty damn premium right about here. So, I thought that was an awesome solution to my lack of stairs in the gravel area of my town. And, uh, hey, look at that. My farms are coming along well. 
my pigs be breeding. So I thought that instead of going for that witch hunt, uh, witch hut hunt that I wanted to do, I thought it'd be a good idea to get this town started first. It's a bit easier and a more short-term project than starting up an entire witch farm. So I thought I'd build a little butcher shop and a nicer big field for you little piggies to walk around and mate in, multiply and get ready for the slaughter fest. So I've extended my little walkway here, splits off over this way, and um, here I'm yeah, growing my trees. This way is going to be something else, I'm not really decided yet, but this area over here is going to be like the town square. You know, you have the well, you're going to have some other random town square-ish stuff over here, maybe a fountain and whatnot. And I thought the noise of the animals, the pigs and everything, you, you don't really want that over there. Oh, let me see. Skype is still going on. Let me get rid of that. Let me myself I'm busy. And that was not Skype. <laughs> that was Facebook. God, I need to get my sounds in order. Anyway, where was I? I was going on about the, the butcher house. That's right. So I am going to build my little butcher house over here came up with a, a nice little design, a little wooden shack. Uh, well, little. We'll see if you think it's little. And uh, for that, I am going to need a ton of, well, yeah, obviously, wood. So let's get into our chest. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm going to need some oak wood. I want some fences. I want some spruce wood. And let's get rid of all this snow and the leaves for now. I'm not going to need any of that. No arrows either. Ah, I got an infinity bow. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, the hydro was standing forever at the, the grinder. And he got two infinity one bows within like 15 minutes of each other. So, yeah, he gifted me one, which is awesome. Thanks a lot. No need to worry about arrow supply or anything. And I want to put maybe some kind of enchant on there, but I don't know. Do Can you repair bows? I don't think you can. But if someone can let me know, that would be awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll, but I'll keep it anyway. And I will use it happily. That's, oh, no, that goes in wood. So let's, um, let's take our little workbench with us. I like it more when it's close to where I'm building. And let's get start. Whoa, why am I running into a tree? <laughs> let's get started on this design. Bam. All right. So, how is it going to look? Well, it's going to start off with um, two stacks of that. That should be good. I need lots of oak wood. Let's get some of this going. And I love this new shop. If you see the mouse is hovering, if you hold the right mouse button, it drops one in each slot. But if you hold the left mouse button, it spreads it evenly right across. Bam. Easy crafting. Hell yeah. I love it. Freaking love it. <laughs> Makes things so much easier. So now what are we going to do? We are going to start off with a little one, two, and hey, come on. Three. Damn it. Three. There we go. One, two, and three. All right, this is going to be um, the way that it is at the front. Uh, let me consult my building style again. Um, we have the front here, and then we have two, one, two, three, four, five, six here and this one's gonna go a bit higher um, let's get some scaffolding going oh gonna start building in the dark that's not good one two three yeah okay good and then we're gonna put another one right there yeah Hop. and like that bam bam okay that's that cool and now we're going to put the spruce wood right about here. One, two, three, oh, nice. And we'll get started on the front. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. 
And one, two, three, four, and five. Not you. Get back. All right. And then we're gonna have some spruce wood here again. Yep. And then duck, 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 duck. And we're gonna build this guy up here. All right. Oh. Oh my God. Did I really just do that? <laughs> Oh, uh, in the middle of it all, I got completely disoriented, and I am building in the wrong direction. Let me correct myself. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. That was definitely not good. Let's start over. God, I could have sworn that the path was right in front of me. How could you be so silly? Alright, start over. Three, four. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. That's starting to look a bit more like it. There we go. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. All right. Now let's get ourselves a little door. There we go. And da, 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 da. Blap. actually, there was no need to evenly spread. I could have used the right mouse button there, but uh, ah well. Is this already dirt or gravel? Nope, it is not. Let's put a gravel piece there. And I am going to put it on the gravel piece so that you get that nice door that's kind of sticking out. You know, that poor door looking style. Like the carpenter kind of messed up. <laughs> so that's a nice little feel that we got there. And now what we're going to do, we're going to take the spruce wood again. And we are going to right there, extend it on over. And we are going to do the same right on over here. Pop, pop. All right. And there we go. Now that is what the front is going to be looking like. Don't tell me. You like it. You like it, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> I like it. Um, let's see. Oh, nope. Don't want you there. Uh, the heck? Just put you away. Just cut you away. But hey! Come on, boy. Cooperate. Okay, that's that. Bam. All right. So, that is that side. Now, we're going to do about the similar style right over here. Oh, no. Get out. Get out. There we go. Cool. And we go up again. And pop. Pop. And we bring this beam on. Ah, damn it. Over. And we put fence posts in the window. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. And now we start working on the back, which is a bit bigger. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. One more. Those are the fences. Ah, I need to make more fences. I need to make lots more fences. Come on. Fence me up. Come on. There we go. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. I think that should be enough sticks for fence. Oh, look at that. Perfect stack. It's as if I intended it. 14, 15. Yeah, that should be enough. Does that mean I threw my sticks? I don't know. I don't know anymore. No, 15 fences is not going to be enough, actually, now that I think of it. But we'll just have to go and make some more afterwards, don't we? Or won't we? Yes, we will. So, here we go. We're jumping up again. And we're bringing this on over. Yep. Oh, nope. Don't want you facing up. I want you facing si sideways. Sideways, man. Work with me. There we go. Bam. Yes. Yes, sir. I like it. 
Bam. I could have sworn I had that different last time. And I think I did. Crap, that means the fences need to be moved over one. Okay. That's fine. We'll do just that. Oh, oh hey, get back. Get back. Yeah, I love my knockbacks. Is he going to burn to death? Is he? Come on. Burn. Burn, baby. Or just, you know, stand there. Oh, teleportation. Oh, what the f... Whew, half a health. Damn. I almost just died. Well, shoot. <laughs> At least I did not. Thank God for that, eh? Well, if you are religious, I guess. I'm not, but I still thank God just because it's just one of those expressions, you know, that everybody always says. Um, so that means actually that that is the way it should be. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's right. This didn't line up. That's the way it was. Yeah. At first it lined up, but then with that beam. Yep, 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 yep. Everything is the way it is supposed to be perfect perfect um here we have yep same as the other side bam bam perfect all right um and let me make the uh, the perimeter already if our of our outside yeah should i do that yeah let's just see i'm gonna need to build more fences for that Yep, lots more fences. Coming right up. Come on. Alright. Come on, let me make them sticks. There we go. Um, I think 64 will be enough. Yep, bam. And two more. 22. 22 should be good. 22 should be good. Um, let's do one more. Oh, I'm going to go over the water. Maybe I want to switch that up later. Hmm, I have to think about that. Not sure if I like the looks of that. Um, okay, so here is where the piggies are going to go. I'll have to lure them in and through the house. I'll just go through the outside and build the fence afterwards. Alright, so we got that. Perfect. Now I need to think of the next floor. This is going to be a beauty. I actually might need some more spruce wood. Because I think I'm running low. 60 left, and that's it. None in my inventory. Or in my hidden inventory, put it that way. Everything is on my action bar. Okay, there we go. Give me some of that dirt. One, two, one. All right, now we're up on top. Um, check, 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 check. Perfect, perfect. So we're up on top, and we are gonna create our little upstairs area. About the same kind of design. Nice and hey, Ace is there joined. Hey again. Welcome back. And let's see. Yeah, that's there. Kind of similar design up on top here. We're going to have one guy hanging out on each side. Give it that kind of beam looking feel to it. Like wooden logs just brought all the way across. Kind of cut a bit too long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, here, yeah, oh, hey, oh. come on, come on, ow, ow, hey, come on now, work with me, uh, uh, there we go, all right, now let's make this window, give me more of that oak wood, yes, sir, um, ah, crap, ran out of fence again, <laughs> I just keep on jumping on down here for more fence. 
64. Nintendo 64! <laughs> yeah, I hope people know what I'm referring to there. If you don't, just go or Google YouTube. YouTube, Nintendo 64, Kid Christmas. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. And then after that, check out the cartoon parody of it. It's hilarious. Uh, the thing that the original video came out like what I think um, six years ago or something, and just this winter, this this cartoon parody of it came out, which just takes the audio of that clip and makes something epic out of it, and oh, it's awesome. It's it's just freaking hilarious. There's nothing else to say about it. It is freaking hilarious. Um, I think this is that. Yeah. Oh crap! I wanted to stay up there. And then we are going to need that beam to come across. Um, and get on top, and we are not going to bring it out. And you'll see why in a second. And we'll bring this on over. And we'll bring this one on over. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need more spruce wood. Definitely going to need more. This is not going to be enough. There we go. Yep. And then bring this guy over to the other side. I hope you like it. Do you kind of see where I'm going with this already? It's starting to take shape. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some more spruce wood. Let me go get that. All right, I got my wood. <laughs> now I'm heading on back. Let's see what, oh, hey. Trying to open the door and not put wood down. Um, we got about the same stuff going on. We'll have the same look up on this side of the house. But I got a little surprise coming for the other side. And this here, I kind of want to make something special out of it. Um, I'm going to start off by going like this. Yeah, okay. And bam, bam, bam. And I think what I wanted to have was this one knocked out, this one knocked out, and this one knocked out. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Cool. One, two, oh, let's bring you on over. Ah, that one needed to be open. Bam. And this one, too. Get out. Alright. And there we go. Whew. Look at that. Yeah. It's a bit dark, but it adds a bit of variety to the to the feel of the house. So I'm going to leave it like that and uh, see what I think of it at the end of the finished product. But I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe I'll switch it up sometime. But I definitely want a different kind of thing there. See, I mean, yeah, it looks kind of dark. Let's see, let's see what happens with the finished product once the roof is on and everything as well. Because we are, hey, hey, piggy. It's starting to take shape. Now we need a lot of stairs. Okay. Let's start off like that, see where it gets us. And uh, yeah, let's start off over here on this side. Come on. All right, there we go. Now. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, eh? what's going on? <laughs> Glitching all over the place. Okay. No, no. Damn it. <laughs> Why won't you cooperate? Come on. I think I'm going to fall off a lot, so let's just put the scaffolding like that. All right, cooperate. Get on. Yes, perfect. All right, and then we keep going. Dan, Dan, Dan. 
Yep. Yes. Alright. This uh, is going to take a while, so I'll probably just put this in a time lapse, and I will see you at the end of the roof building. Okay, everybody, and there you have it. I'm done. There's still some dirt floating on up there, but I don't mind. It looks good. It's part of the charm. <laughs> no. um, yeah, so there we go. My first building for my village. Quite like it. Still need to change the upper attic. I might put a window right there. We'll see exactly what I do with it. But uh, let's have a look at it from the side. It looks quite cool. I like the little uh, jabs over there. I might... It's a bit too often. And this wood. I'm not sure if I'm too uh, happy with it. I might change that up a bit once I get some wool or some different color or something. But I don't want it to have only this wood everywhere. That I think that's just a bit boring. So, um, let's have a look at the back. <laughs> yeah, the same thing. Too evenly spaced. I wanted those like dents in the roof to be a bit more random than that, so... I guess I'll change that in a bit, but I like the, the little extra wood that makes the roof extend a bit longer. I like the way the logs stick out of the house a little bit. And um, yeah, this is going to be the little piggy area where they can hang out and uh, some stuff, get fed. I can breed them, I can feed them, and then I can do the deed, kill them for my own benefit. And ooh, look at that, it's starting to snow. Damn. Ah, I love it. Um, oh, no, did not want to do that. I need my light here. I need my light. And I need some food. Ah, these aren't baked yet, are they? Crap. I'll have to go grab some baked potatoes. Uh, the inside is still very, very basic. Grass even. So I'll come up with something for that. But uh, so far, really happy. I'll uh, move the pigs on over. And then I got my butcher shop set. At least the foundation of which. I think I might add a furnace somewhere. But I think if I put a fire somewhere here for a furnace. Or for like a little cooking the meat stuff. A little fireplace or something. I think it will burn down the house. Unless I build it well. I'll have to do some tests for that. Or see if I actually want to do that at all. We'll see. But for now let's go grab some carrots. 
Let's lure our piggies on over to their new home. Come on, thank you. Um, let's get some carrots. Let's have some melons first. To get my hunger situation sorted. See, this is what I meant in that earlier episode I was talking about it. Melons? You gotta have way too many of them. And there we go. Now I'm full. And let's see how long that lasts us, shall we? Um, hello piggies. Everybody, come follow daddy. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, follow me. Follow me. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, there you go. Teleportation pigs. Yeah, come on. I'll put a two-way entrance sometimes with one and a lot of pigs. They have way too much trouble coming in. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Hey, come on. You're stuck. Oh, well. One, two, three, four. Mate. Mate for me. And I guess you'll be the first to be slaughtered. Die. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so, there we have it. Nice little snowy ending. Um, you guys got stuck as well. You can die. Blah, blah, come on. Die. Give me them pork chops. I want some food. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I can get rid of this pen. This temporary little thing. Goodbye. You will not be missed. Um, oh, let's grab some leaves, finish up the sidewalk. I'm starting to turn into a bit too long of a straight sidewalk. I might bring a bit of variation here. Yeah, see, this is a bit too long. Maybe I'll put, like, a little house here or something. We'll see. But, there we have it. Our butcher shop. Whoa. I don't know how it is for you guys. I hope it's fine. The snow kind of blocks out a lot of your vision, doesn't it? Hoo-wee! Yes, it does. Yes, sirree. Uh, let's see how our little step-up goes. Yeah, it's still going well. Not the candle melt of that snow. But it seems like the new fresh fallen snow has not raised it up a block. Or actually, maybe that second step saves the day. No, in the middle it still works. Excellent. So that works. My farm is going well. Maybe that's the next uh, build for the little village. Maybe that's what I'll put there, a little crop growing farm or something like that. Actually, ah, I know exactly what I'm going to do. This guy is going to need to grow some crops to mate his pigs. So maybe that's what I'll do with his water over here. I'll build like a little crop growing section. Ah, we'll see. Still lots of things to do. Enough ideas floating around in my head. We will see exactly what I'll be doing. So, I hope you guys like the build. I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to touch it up a little bit, make the roof nice. And, uh, yeah, thank you for joining. Ah, oh, man. Isn't it so good? Peaceful music. Snow falling. Awesome. Perfect. So, I'll give you one last look at the strip mine, give you an idea of what I've been doing, and then we'll say our farewells. <laughs> yeah, see, close it up, put some chests up, and I went down into the lower level. I was not finding any diamonds at level 14, <laughs> so I went down to level 11, and I found me quite enough. I'm a lot happier on this down, a lot happier on level 11, I have to say. So, I'm going to sleep. Or is Ace still here? Ace is still here. Ah! Looks like I cannot sleep. <laughs> but uh, let's pretend that I do. And say our farewells. Thanks for joining. See you guys next time. Looky, looky. 
<laughs> My butcher shop is a slime spawner. Awesome.